Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whenever you are. Hello. Thank you for watching my videos. It's Mike. It's uh, January 5th, 2009. Some of you uh, who are regular viewers may have noticed that I have a new camera now. I'm very excited. You'll actually be able to see me. Um, and it's high definition, so you can see the uh, brows, the lines on my forehead. You can also tell that my hair is really messy, like today. Never mind. It makes no difference. News today. Okay, well, of course, there's some business news. Um, here in the UK, uh, Adams this morning, uh, their administrators, PricewaterhouseCoopers, uh, came out and basically said, okay, well, 850 people will be immediately made redundant. Um, and they're going to close 111 stores, and some stores may get bought. We don't know. Uh, there was some other news. Um, of course, I was watching... I don't know what I was doing. I was flicking uh, channels. I was looking for BBC news. Um, so I wanted to see what was happening uh, in Gaza, funnily enough. And uh, stumbled across uh, <coughs> Sky News, and they were going through some ramble about the most clicked pages on skynews.com and most searched terms and all this nonsense. And I was absolutely amazed that Gaza was the most clicked 7% of the time, and things like John Travolta uh, and his son was clicked 15% of the time. And the weather was, I think, 30% of the time. Because, remarkably enough, it actually uh, snowed here today. There was snow in the east of the country, southeast of the country, and uh, people freaked out. It snowed here for approximately five minutes, um, lasted about ooh, 20 or 30 seconds on the ground. I also see that I have some uh, northern viewers from the north of UK who um, apparently think that I'm just an idiot, and I twitch. That's fine. You think that. Oh, and I'm Jewish. Okay. Italian bond scandal ensnare, could ensnare banks. Um, this will be linked. That side? I don't know which side anymore. I guess it'll be that side. Um, several high profile banks, including uh, Deutsche Bank and UBS, could be caught up in lawsuits over lending arrangements with Italian local governments. So, uh, we were thinking maybe it was Spain, perhaps it'll be Italy. Um, Italy, apparently their uh, economy is actually getting larger than the United Kingdom's now because the UK's economy is tanking so badly. However, uh, it appears that the <coughs> crests of the waves of the economic crisis will soon strike upon Italy and Rome. And never mind that Venice is already flooded. It'll be flooding again. More important news. This is from The Independent today. Most people may have missed this. New powers for police to hack your PC. Um, civil liberties groups raise alarm, blah, blah, blah. Police have been given the power to hack into personal computers without a court warrant. Um, this is kind of a bad thing. <clears throat> they don't need a court warrant anymore. This is under European law, so it's not just the UK. It's pretty much anywhere in Europe now. They have a heck of a time getting this to happen in Germany, but they could probably still do it. So be careful out there. Um, I recommend, I have a link here, I recommend uh, a product called Peer Guardian. Uh, look it up. Basically, it lets you block whole ranges of IP addresses um, so that no connections can get through. Uh, by default, it blocks all government agencies. Uh, which is kind of irritating when you actually want to go and look at a government agency on the web. You do have the option to bypass certain sites, etc., and allow them through. Um, but it's quite a useful tool if you're worried about people snooping on your computer. Um, and as before, as I mentioned on some other uh, videos earlier in the month, uh, last month, <coughs> you can, obviously, there's these, uh, you know, piracy sites out there that, you know, hide your IP address, hide where you are, throw away your cookies, things like that. So that uh, sites that you visit can't actually tell where you're coming from. And actually it makes it rather difficult for uh, the government to track what you're doing. It does, however, painfully slow. Um, I'll include a link here so you can, you know, look at it yourself and try it out and see if it'll be useful to you. <coughs> however, I, <coughs> I personally... I'm not that bothered. Maybe I should be. 
Amongst the comments on this story about the new powers to hack your PC was a, a mention of a Washington Post article. Uh, <clears throat> more groups than thought monitored in police spying. I'll link it here if you wish to take this out. Maryland State Police surveillance of advocacy groups was far more extensive than previously acknowledged, with records showing that troopers monitored and labeled as terrorists, activists devoted to such wide-ranging causes as promoting human rights and establishing bike lanes. You are a terrorist! I want a bike lane! You are a terrorist! The madness of it all. Okay, folks. Keep it real. Keep it safe. Peace. Love. Understanding. We'll get you through this. See ya.